In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Power BI Desktop to an Excel file that you've stored on Microsoft Teams, or if you have stored it on a SharePoint location. The method is the same. So you may have worked with Power BI, and maybe you've clicked here to kind of bring in a piece of data from Microsoft Excel that is stored on your local drive. That's pretty simple. You would just select your file, click Open, and Power BI will use that. But what if you're working with other members of a team and you have data files that you want to store in a location that people are constantly contributing to? So you want it in a public and shared location. So one of those possibilities is I've stored an Excel file here, but it's on Microsoft Teams. How do I tell Power BI where to go find my data? So even though this is a Microsoft Excel file, what you actually do in Power BI to get to that get data instead of picking Excel file like you would when it's on your desktop or local on your drive you're actually going to pick web. Now Power BI is saying okay tell me what the URL is for the file. Well how do you know what the URL is for the file? I'm going to show you. So if I head back to where my file is and I've highlighted it here and I'm actually going to say open this in the Excel app. Now, browser won't give you the information that we're going to look for, and neither will edit in Teams. So make sure you are selecting Open an App. And what it's going to do, it's now opening my Excel file, but it's using the Microsoft Excel app on my computer, not online. And the information we want, if you click on File and then Info, there's something right here that says Copy Path. Click on that, head back over to Power BI, and you're going to paste that in as the URL. But there's one more thing you have to do. See, there's a little thing at the end here that has a question mark, web equals one. After the file name, we want to get rid of this. So get rid of question mark and everything after it. If we press OK, Power BI is going to think for a second. And what it's actually showing me here is that the file I've told it to go look at has two tabs. So you may have multiple tabs. Maybe you need the data to come in for both. Maybe you just need it for one. I'm just going to pick one as an example. You can see it gives you the preview. And what I notice here, see it does not pull in my headings, right? They're down on the first row. So I'm actually going to transform this data before it comes in because I want to make sure that I click over here, say use the first row as the headings, and then you can see my data looks normal and Power BI will work with that. All right, if I hit close and apply, Power BI is going to think for a moment and it's actually pulled my data in, and it's got all of the columns here. The best practice would also be to right-click, rename this, and in my particular case, this is training data, so at least now that I'm working in Power BI, I know what that data set is. If you're like me, you tend to bring in about 30 data sets at once. It's easier to keep track of them that way. I hope that makes it easier for you to get your files from Microsoft Teams or the SharePoint site into Power BI. And stay tuned, I'm going to do another video shortly after this to show you if you have multiple data files all in one folder, how do you tell Power BI to pull all of that data in and collect it into one data set.